little teenager, Angela Hayden. Jacobs. Her ambition is to graduate college with a business degree, own her own business, and raise a family. Courtney is sponsored by Gardner Engineering, J&R Mill, Dahl Specialty Size Apparel, Koenig Construction, William J. Shirtless, DDS, Great Harvest Bread Company, and Sherry Fair and Clothes. Thank you, Princess Number Six, Courtney Jacob. Sarah is a seventeen-year-old daughter of Brent and Diane Richardson. earn a bachelor's degree in civil engineering, a master's degree in architectural engineering, and raise a good family. Sarah is sponsored by KATG Connecting Point, John and Shelley Clark, and Stephen M. Hoofman, attorney at law. That's contestant number eight, Sarah Richardson. 
and do the things that they're supposed to do and stay out of trouble, like our president's kind of in right now. <laughs> We now have a female candidate for the presidency. Do you think it is possible for her to win the election? Why or why not? I do think it is possible. I think after all of our male leaders, we do need a woman leader. And I think everybody has realized that. that they are strong and they are honest and loyal. And they will usually be really organized and do their best to get everything done that needs to be. That is contestant number six, Courtney. three most important goals in your life? Uh, my three most important goals, I think one is to successfully make it through college and be what I want to be. Um, two would be to <laughs> um, just fulfill my life the way I should to do things that are any. Sarah Rock Richardson. <laughs> Do you believe burning the American flag is an expression of free speech? Why or why not? Well, I don't know how a piece of material can really symbolize free, free speech. I, um, they do have the right to burn it, I guess, but I don't think they're getting the right point across by burning the flag if they really want freedom of speech. That is Contestant number nine is Patty Rodriguez. His fingernails, it's hard to get him out of there. What can be done to reduce the incidence of violence in our schools? I believe that one way to reduce violence is to have support groups. Yeah. 
Academy Award. And our Miss Congeniality in the Senior Dance. citizenship winner is contestant number four, Harmony Heaton. Second runner up in the C 
senior division receiving a $1,500 per year annual renewal scholarship to Albertson College of Idaho, a $30,000 tuition scholarship to Jim State College, and a one half year tuition scholarship to the College of Eastern Utah, and a $3,200 annual renewal scholarship to the University of Ozark, is contestant number four, Harmony Heaton. May we have the remaining contestants move to the center of the stage. Yep, gather, squeeze, tighten up. As you know, the position of first runner-up is very important. If for any reason our new queen cannot fulfill her duties, the first runner-up would assume the title and fulfill the responsibilities of the queen. First runner-up in the junior division receiving a $2,000 four-year annual renewal scholarship to Albertson College of Idaho, a $4,000 tuition scholarship to Gem State College, a half-year tuition scholarship to the College of Eastern Utah is contestant number 13, Amy Watkins. First runner up in our senior division receiving a $2,000 for your annual renewal scholarship to Alberson College of Idaho. Half your tuition scholarship to the College of Eastern Utah, four thousand dollar tuition scholarship to Gem State College, a sixty four hundred dollar annual renewable tuition scholarship to the University of Ozarks is contestant number one, Jennifer Applegate. <laughs> National teenager is for the state of Idaho. That lucky girl going on to Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, did I say I know? You know what? I live there. I'm so sorry. All these girls are really nice. I like you, I like you. That title's already taken. Sorry. Oh. Your new Miss Utah Junior National Teenager is contestant number 11.
Sarah and Tamara go forth as examples of the finest of America's teenagers. They are deserving young ladies in whom their fellow teenagers can be proud. Best wishes to each of them during their busy and exciting year ahead. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being here with us tonight and for your support of these outstanding young ladies. Judges, thank you for your assistance this weekend. Please join us on stage after. Good night, everyone, and have a safe journey home.